Hey there, ADB024 Aaron here, and today what I'm trying to track down here is the long lost city of Long Tom. And as the legend has it around here, it was a uh, pioneer town. It had some lumber mills and some uh, stores for supplies for pioneers around here. And yet it was a Confederate stronghold. They didn't fly the uh, United States flag out here. They flew the Confederate flag. Yep, here in Oregon. You don't hear about it much. But uh, right now I'm on a, a railroad line that's been closed down, yet it goes from Eugene to Coos Bay. And uh, historical maps show that the town was somewhere right in here. So I'm going to try to track it down. These uh, railroad wasn't here during that time. This was built in 1907. And this town was here during the Civil War. Uh, 1860s and like I said it was uh, they flew Confederate flag out here not so you see this is the Long Tom River what uh, this trestle is standing on here and you can see this railroad seen better days look at this uh, this tie fall right through here and it hasn't had uh, traffic on it for years now due to e economy and all that here's the river and this river really floods. When it floods, it floods. Um, so hopefully we can find something, but it's probably going to be buried. Hopefully not. Okay, guys. So I uh, hiked through the woods here quite a bit. This is what I'm dealing with. Pretty uh, bad shrubbery like this. I'm just getting through it, you know. And came across another spot here where you can see the river. And there's a cliff I dropped through right there. Water right down in there. Here it is. It's pretty fast moving. Um, all these spots here are possible spots of this old town. So I'm not getting anywhere right now. I think best is, since there's a nice river here, I need to put in a, a raft upriver and float through here and see where I think the best spot is where town used to be. Alright guys, so the best bet for me is to get a raft and go along in that river and look at the banks to try to find something because it's a, a sand, it's real sandy soil, muddy, and every time it floods that river changes position a little bit. So hopefully I can find something uh, in the river bank, that's my best bet. Other than that, there's so many years of uh, debris in here and new soil that anything's covered up. Maybe a uh, metal detector would help out, but around that time there would, wasn't much uh, things made of metal anyhow. You can see how the, the banks are in here. Just all mud and soil. There's a, a creek. Alright guys, so here is some civilization that I found out here, an old tent. Funny, uh, Wenzel since uh, 1887. Well, 1887 is even a little too late of the uh, civilization I'm looking for out here. Uh, you know, we know it's here because of historical maps and historical writings. And uh, my uh, my dad has told me when he was a kid he was able to come in here along the Long Tom River and fish off some old, uh, what seemed to be some old uh, timber mill structures. So I know there's something out here. And that was just uh, possibly 50 years ago even then, so uh, it's going to be tough to find, but uh, I'll have to track it down some other time. Here's some guy's camp living out here in the woods. It's funny, it's pretty scary sometimes when you come across a camp like that. You never know what to expect, but he's out right now. Alright guys, so I definitely came across a, uh, a beaver home here right along the uh, railroad tracks. And you can see it, it was right in this gra this uh, pool of water here. And all these sticks are here because it, it piled them up. And it's got all this habitat out in here. And now we got some beavers starting to live. You can see he uh, ate all the bark off these twigs here and he... Uh, chewed down one here. Pretty cool. All this swampy area in here. 